Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? Welcome back, or if you're new, I'm GB and welcome to my channel. This is a place for anyone who loves puzzles, whether you're new to puzzling or you consider yourself an expert. In today's video, we're gonna be going through all the puzzles I received for the month of May. There's a fair few here, not quite as many as the crazy amount from last month's haul, but still a reasonable amount to get through. Uh, we've got a nice mix of puzzle brands and different designs and styles. And there's also a bit of a mix of some new release puzzles and older ones as well. So why don't you grab yourself a drink, a snack, get comfy and let's get through them all. I have just grouped all the puzzles according to the places that they came from. So we've first up got a few here from Amazon um, that happened to all be from Antelope Puzzles. And I've actually got quite a collection of Antelope Puzzles now. Um, I'm kind of terrible because I still haven't done any of them, um, but I'm planning on doing a video very soon trying them out. So. Uh, let's hope they're good because uh, I have a lot now. Anyway, uh, one of them is this lovely Amsterdam Weekend 1000 pieces and it's yeah, it's really pretty, um, colourful and kind of pastel, uh, I guess, like scene of all these Amsterdam buildings and houses and yeah, it looks like it might be spring or summer. Everyone's out enjoying the sunshine and the park and yeah, lots of, you know, I guess activities going on, maybe like a busy weekend or something like that. So. Yeah, there's lots of little details. There's even a little cat there. Yeah, it just looks really fun and cute. Um, yeah, so I think this would be a really enjoyable one to put together. Um, so another one from them is called Whisper of Garden, also 1000 pieces. Uh, this is just a really beautiful one. It has this lovely ornate sort of border design. And yeah, just basically it's like a little snapshot of like a garden of like these flowers and butterflies. Yeah, it's really pretty. Um, yeah, I guess it's like not too complicated of an image. It's just, yeah, beautiful flowers and butterflies and that's it. But yeah, really, really lovely. And then the last one from Amazon and also uh, Antelope is this one called Space Travel and it's also 1000 pieces. Um, I think some of these have been out for quite a while. And yeah, this is just a basically a great kind of colorful space scene, of like planets and like rockets and this close up of like a uh, astronaut so yeah I don't know it's kind of looks very like kind of magical in a way it's like very colorful and I don't know I don't think all these planets exist so it's a little bit sort of fantastical but yeah it looks really cool looks fun um, actually looks like one of the easier kind of space puzzles I've seen sometimes space puzzles have a lot of black and a lot of like you know white stars but this actually has you know a lot of detail going on not just sort of black and white. So yeah, I think this will be a fun one to put together. So next we've got a couple puzzles from a, an Australian website called booktopia.com.au. Um, so one was this uh, pomegranate puzzle called Spring Eternal, which I believe has been out for quite a while, but I sort of had never paid that much attention to it. And then when I kind of looked at it closely, I realized how detailed and really beautiful it is. So it's this sort of skull image but it's all made up of these like, like this, you know, flora and fauna kind of thing. There's like beautiful flowers, uh, you know, forming like the border and the skull itself and like butterflies, uh, insects, lizards, birds. Yeah, it's really like kind of detailed and uh, very ornate. Yeah, very like beautifully decorated. So yeah, I think it could be a little bit tricky because there's a lot of sort of black space around the skull. Um, but yeah, it's just, yeah, really beautiful. I'm, I don't know why I hadn't kind of looked at it more closely before, but I'm glad I did and glad I finally got a hold of it. And then the other one I got from Booktopia is uh, a art and fable puzzle, which has been around a while. This one's called Watcher Protector and it's just a 500 piece one. And yeah, basically is, I guess, a sort of like elven character and like a owl or their familiar. Um, yeah, it's sort of a bit, Again, it's a fantasy sort of thing. So it's a little bit surreal and a bit dreamlike, but yeah, it looks interesting. Um, I This one was very heavily discounted. It was like $10 or something. So I even though I had seen it before, it's not exactly my style, but I figured, look, an art and fable for like $10, I don't think you can go too wrong. And I've really enjoyed uh, like the Mantis Mundi puzzle I did of theirs. So yeah, I think this one will be a lovely one to put together as well. So this next bunch here are all from another Australian uh, online puzzle slash toy store called Ed Resources. 
Uh, so this first one is a hay puzzle. And I believe it's sort of part of a series called Pixie Dust by like uh, a particular artist. I think Ilona Rennie, I might have pronounced that wrong. Um, but this one from the series, I believe is called, yeah, Pearl Rain. Um, it's 1000 pieces. And yeah, it's just very, very intricate, uh, very detailed and beautiful puzzle. It seems like all of them from this series are like, have so much like little details going on, but yeah, it's all like uh, raining pearls, it would seem. and like there's fairies and all sorts of like little fantastical surreal things, butterflies, fish, like flying fish, I think. Um, and these beautiful buildings, like it's kind of almost hard to sort of exactly see what's going on because there's like so much sort of, it's almost like a bit collaged and yeah, there's like so much going on, but yeah, it looks really beautiful. And yeah, I've sort of had my eye on the puzzles from this series for a while. So when I saw this one, I thought I'd grab it and give it a try sometime. And then we've got some Ravensburger ones here. Um, these are all fairly new releases too. So this one's the Book Palace, 1000 pieces. And yeah, it's just a really cute, uh, like, I guess bookshop. Well, the Book Palace looks like a pretty awesome bookstore to me. It's got, uh, well, for a start, it has a couple of uh, beautiful cats in it. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, it's just very colorful and has like all these rows of books and, um, the building that the bookstore's in is really beautiful with these like stained glass uh, like details and this lovely like colorful chandelier and pink couches and yeah, it's really cool. And there's a lot of fun little details like, uh, you know, a rack of like gift cards here and ones that, you know, it says, I love cats. So yeah, it's really cute. Um, so yeah, but this one sort of caught my eye and was definitely, uh, one of the new Ravensburgers that were sort of on my wish list. So yeah, glad to have this one. And then another one that's, uh, I think fairly new as well, is this beautiful one and it's called Floral Mushroom Houses. Um, it's by Hannah Carlson and uh, they've done a few kind of uh, puzzles for Ravensburger in this style before and they're all like just really pretty and very detailed. They have like, they're all done in this sort of almost a little bit cartoon, whimsical, drawn style, um, and always a bit sort of naturey and yeah, but this one features all these cute mushroom houses and loads of flowers and yeah, it's just really cute, like a little kind of floral mushroom village kind of thing. And yeah, so much going on. There's like a little spider web there and little insects and yeah, it's really pretty, very uh, intricate, very detailed and yeah, I think it's just a really lovely puzzle. And then we have another Ravensburger. This one's 1500 pieces and it's called uh, Love Through the Ages. And yeah, I just think it's a really different kind of like puzzle image. It's basically got all these sort of, I guess, um, almost like, I guess, a grid of like, different, I guess, lovers through the ages. So who have we got here? We've got, I don't know if I can, I don't know if I know any of them specifically, but like, I guess from different eras, like I don't know if they're from specific stories or not, but they're all from like, I guess, different like cultures or countries, different like time periods. Like you've got some, a couple here sort of from a Shakespearean era. You've got sort of like, Venetian marked, masked characters down here. You sort of got like two, a couple here that look like they might be from like the 1940s or something. Yeah, it's really like interesting and it's very detailed and beautiful. Again, I feel like there's a lot of uh, puzzles today that are like very ornate. So with all these like beautiful, very intricate, lovely details, like floral borders, butterflies and yeah, and each like a uh, couple have like lots of details in their clothing and hair and everything. So yeah, it's really beautiful. So yeah, glad I grabbed that one as well. And then the last one I got from Ed Resources is this little uh, Crocodile Creek one, 500 pieces called Plants and Pets. And yeah, it's just a really cute little puzzle. I don't know if this is the whole image on the front. It might be, but the whole image is also in the back. Um, but yeah, it's just a room full of colorful plants and flowers and things. And then it's got like, yeah, lots of cute cats and dogs and little lizard and some birds, a chicken. I think there's like a little goat, 
yeah, it's really cute. Um, everything looks very whimsical and everyone, all the animals seem to be getting along and having fun and just having a great old time amongst all these plants. So yeah, it's just a really, it's a really cute puzzle. Um, and I've done like one of their puzzles before and it wasn't my absolute favorite quality, but it wasn't bad either. So, you know, it's a sort of a brand where if I see a really cute design, I'll pick it up. Um, I just noticed as well, even up here, they've got like <laughs> this really cute, happy looking little turtle kind of emerging from a plant. Yeah, just really cute. So I think this one's gonna be a lot of fun to put together. So these next few are from another Australian online store called Mind Connect. Um, so I've got some Magnolia puzzles here. So this one is called Alice and it's uh, by the artist Romy Loder. I actually not that long ago did a video um, on another Magnolia puzzle, the uh, Queen's Gambit one, which is also by the same artist. So I'll pop that up the top. Um, so yeah, this is 1000 pieces and it's just a really fun and kind of beautiful kind of whimsical image of yeah basically Alice and like a lot of the sort of uh I guess themes from Alice in Wonderland or Alice through the looking glass it's got like the white rabbit here and there's like I guess the Mad Hatter's hat and like a time flying time clock or watch playing cards tea yeah and lots of love hearts yeah it's really pretty I you know really love the sort of art style with like uh the, this artist likes to do a lot of female sort of icons with like these big eyes and like small lips and yeah just they're re really kind of like iconic and really stand out and yeah I just think it's really stunning and then I've got a, another Alice in Wonderland puzzle by the same artist um, so also 1000 pieces this one's called Tea Time with Alice so it's a little bit different sort of a bit more zoomed out and there she is sort of sitting on some mushrooms I guess sort of like yeah kind of in the mushroom forest and yeah it's got this big clock behind her with beautiful flowers and um, I guess the whole thing's kind of like a you know red hearts playing card and it's got the white rabbit in there and the Cheshire cat so yeah this one's yeah really cool as well and yeah definitely looking forward to doing this one soon as well and then we have one more here from Magnolia Puzzles this one's actually a square puzzle and it's uh, got 1050 pieces and it is called I think it's just called optical yeah optical illusion and it's this very trippy uh crazy optical illusion puzzle I'm thinking about doing a video on this one um I don't know how I'm gonna do it or and let's hope it doesn't make me feel a bit motion sick but yeah it's like if you stare at it it looks like it's moving so yeah it's pretty cool very trippy um I don't really have anything like this in my collection so yeah I thought it'd be a fun one to grab I think it's going to be pretty tricky to put together, but yeah, I think also it'll look really awesome once it's done as well. So yeah, kind of excited for this one. And then the last one from Mind Connect that I grabbed is actually a new brand for me, which I just recently did over on Instagram. This is by Jacaroo Puzzles, which is a Canadian brand. This is 1000 pieces and it's called Quilted Hearts. And um, both this puzzle and like most of their puzzles are just really bright and colorful and are this sort of like very hand drawn style. Um, yeah, and they're really just really fun and very sort of cheerful looking. And yeah, this one really caught my eye. Just lots of I like this grid of all these different kind of love hearts and different art styles and um, yeah, like all different themes. Like we've sort of got, you know, one made of love hearts, like a little sewn one here, a zipper one, like dots. Uh, plants like yeah there's all sorts of ones there's even a little puzzle love heart so yeah it's really pretty um, I had a lot of fun doing this one and yeah I definitely uh, would do more from this brand as well so yeah really glad to have this one in my collection so these next few are also from another Australian online puzzle store this time it's from Puzzle Palace so I've got here a Eurographics puzzle 1000 pieces from their fine art collection and this one's actually called Woman Walking in an Exotic Forest by the artist Henry Rousseau. And yeah, I've just seen this one around and I just really liked it. It appealed to me. Um, yeah, just sort of has this like little woman here walking through sort of all these what feels like very giant oversized plants and trees and everything. Yeah, she kind of makes her look very tiny and uh, like little amongst yeah these towering giant plants. But yeah, I just really like it. It's just a beautifully painted image and yeah really glad to have this one don't have too many sort of I guess classic art puzzles so yeah it's nice to have one in my collection 
And then another Euro graphics one I have here is this one in a tin called Cookie Party. And I actually just did a video on this recently, which I'll link up the top. Um, yeah, it's this very colorful, uh, fun kind of collage image of all these like iced cookies. Yeah, so they're really cute. There's like caterpillar and flowers and love hearts and yeah, all sorts of like really fun designs. Um, so spoilers, I didn't really like the piece fit of this one, but I'm still glad to like have tried it out and you know, to see what these ones and tins are like. And yeah, I really like the image. So I'm still, yeah, still glad to have this one in my collection. And then I've got some Ravensburger ones here, which I'm pretty sure they're all fairly new designs as well. This one's from a thousand pieces and it's from the abandoned collection. And I think it's called Forgotten Arcade. And yeah, I just really like sort of abandoned place, like images. I think they're just really cool and find them really intriguing and interesting. And so, yeah, when I saw this one, I kind of knew I had to have it. Um, yeah, it's just this old rundown kind of abandoned uh, game arc, like games arcade where it's got like, you know, the racing car kind of game and the like uh, claw machines and like whack-a-mole and yeah, all sorts of things. And everything's very broken and dusty and covered in spider webs. There's even some old popcorn dropped on the floor but yeah there's something about this that I just really like I sort of like the grunginess of it and the mystery but also it's still kind of colorful so yeah I think this one's really cool and then I've got a couple of uh, 1500 piece Ravensburgers here both from the Eames like they're part of the Eames collector's edition and I just really like the sort of uh, designs from the Eames I guess couple <laughs> You could say and yeah I really like this one um, it's actually called Eames House of Cards fantasy um, yeah it's really colorful and very collagey and very quirky and whimsical and yeah it's sort of like all sorts of weird wonderful things going on like yeah it's basically I guess this yeah house of sort of cards but it's all like little weird found objects like scissors and crayons and sewing like paraphernalia like it's yeah it's really odd and quirky but very cute and it's sort of got the Eames couple, husband and wife team up here. And yeah, there's like all sorts of weird, fun things going on. Cute little cotton wool ball, like clouds. And yeah, but I'm a big fan of sort of like Eames design, like especially like their sort of furniture design. Um, so yeah, when I saw uh, these puzzles, I was like very interested in getting them. So glad I was able to get these two. So the other one is bit more collage style so also 1500 pieces and this one is called uh, Eames House of Cards but yeah instead of it being like an image of like I guess a house or building like that one this one is like just a collage so yeah it's sort of uh, again like all sorts of images and found objects like a lot of sewing things and crayons and you know images of like some of their furniture design like their chairs that they're sort of quite well known for and yeah, it's like, it's really cool. Um, so yeah, I guess it does feature a lot of stuff that's to do with like their designs. Um, yeah, so very colorful, very uh, fun looking, and yeah, really glad to have this one in the collection. This last group of puzzles has quite a mix here. So I've got three here from a very new brand. So uh, these three are from the uh, photographer called Tanya Wicks, who's based in Australia and she's just very recently uh, created her own puzzle range so I think she put out five so I grabbed three of my favorites and this one's called Le Macaron and I just think it's a really really beautiful pretty image so many like uh, very mouth-watering pastel pretty macarons and yeah it's just really pretty um, yeah love the colors and I think it'll be really fun to do and Probably don't do it while you're hungry, otherwise you might end up buying a whole lot of macarons to snack on. But yeah, it's really pretty, so super glad to get a hold of this one. And then one of the others that I grabbed is this really bright, colorful citrus burst. And yeah, it's just uh, features these sort of sliced open uh, citrus fruits and they're all very colorful. It's sort of like, a makes me think of a very like summery themed kind of puzzle. Like it's just, yeah, really, yeah, it makes me think of summer, I guess. So yeah, it's really kind of nice and bright. And yeah, I really love as well that like, I guess on all three of these puzzles, there's like so much detail, like it's really crisp and clear. Like you can see all the sort of pattern of like the pulp of the citrus fruit. So yeah, I kind of like that. Like there's such a like nice level of detail. Yeah, so glad to have this one. And then the last one I grabbed from 
her collection is this beautiful desert beauty puzzle and it features all these beautiful succulent plants I guess kind of like a top view and it's like yeah they almost look like little roses they're all very you know beautiful colors and sort of shapes and textures but yeah it looks really pretty I sort of I really like these sort of succulents I just think they look really nice um, yeah and there's like again so much like you know a really high level of detail and yeah I just love love the colors I think yeah I think this is definitely one of I mean they're all my favorites but I really like this one actually so yeah I'm really excited to be able to do this one soon and then I got a couple here from uh, an Australian company called La La Land which usually does a lot of homewares but they do some really cute uh, puzzles as well so this one's 1000 pieces and it's called Journey Beyond Reveries and yeah it's just this very kind of intricate beautiful image it's got this like lady lying here um, in this sort of very ornate again I feel like I'm using that word to describe a lot of puzzles uh, for this haul but it really is like there's so many she's got these detailed wall hangings and uh, like tiles and yeah there's like so many patterns and like little textures going on and there's this beautiful like arched window here with the moon shining through and I guess wherever she is it's very exotic and sort of almost a little bit tropical because she's got like a toucan and like a monkey and a zebra and a peacock or like a real menagerie of sort of animals and birds and things but yeah it's really beautiful and um, yeah love the details so glad to have this one in my collection as well and then another one from them which I guess is also uh, can also be described as ornate or detailed is this little 500 piece one called field trip and it just has this beautiful detailed border and then has these lovely colorful kind of moths and all these little plants and flowers and mushrooms and things yeah it's really really packed with lots of details and yeah it's really beautiful um, so yeah really glad to have this one I think it's just going to be a lovely puzzle to put together these next couple are from the uh, puzzle brand Sunus and these are part of the spring collection uh, which came out fairly recently and I actually did a video on these which I'll link up the top um, so this one is called uh, Marching Spring by the artist Helen Dardic basically they're considered premium art puzzles and their collaborations with different artists so they're actually uh, higher quality and kind of a bit different than some of the previous Sunus puzzles so they're different from like the gradient therapy and like the um, forest life and you know uh, marine life they're uh, nicer quality and done a bit differently than those um, and they're also like a higher price point as well but yeah they're really lovely um, yeah love this image it's just so colorful and cheerful actually the whole image is on the back yeah this like girl kind of yeah marching through all these flowers there's this cute cat yeah it's really colorful and cheerful and I really enjoyed doing this one so yeah super glad to have it in my collection um, yeah I can really see myself doing this multiple times and I guess lending it to other puzzle friends so yeah really glad to have gotten this one and then the other one I grabbed from her spring collection is this really beautiful uh, grid style puzzle this one is reflections by the artist Jess Chen and it's like uh, all these sort of little digital uh, images uh, that are all like very spring and almost a little bit Japanese inspired and yeah they're very like I guess whereas the previous puzzle was very like bright and vivid this is a bit more like subdued and pastel and very pretty um, yeah it's all these cute little flower images and butterflies and things yeah it's really pretty and I guess uh, I did this one recently on Instagram and it was like doing lots of little mini puzzles so it's like very fun and satisfying to put together so yeah really glad to have this one in my collection as well so these last two are from Wentworth Wooden Puzzles and um, yeah they were having a sale plus free international shipping on a sort of range of puzzles so I jumped at the chance to grab a couple that I've been eyeing off so this one's called Weekend in Blue Shark Hotel and it's 250 pieces and yeah it's just this really fun very bright vivid image of this sort of like little town or village and I guess featuring the Blue Shark Hotel and it's got like you know some people riding bikes and uh, yeah it's like uh, I guess there's a few little yeah people out and about but yeah it's just this really uh, like kind of whimsical little image like I'm also sort of quite amazed at how vivid it is like the red roofs of some of the houses are just they just really stand out they're so bright against like 
the blues and the yellows and stuff. So yeah, really beautiful image. Um, really love the sort of whimsical art style and yeah, really glad to have this one. And then the other one I got from Wentworth is called Strolling Home and it's 500 pieces and I think it's a square image, but it's just a really pretty, lovely image of all these beautiful flowers and this little path of these two, I think they're like porcupines, uh, like, you know, strolling home, I guess, which is this sort of little, almost looks like a little birdhouse standing here, but it looks like that's what they're sort of walking towards. But yeah, it looks really sweet and I just love the pretty flowers and it's just sort of a cute little image and yeah, I don't know, it just really appealed to me. So yeah, really happy to have this one in my collection as well. So that's all the puzzles for the entire May haul. Uh, there were quite a lot, not as many as last month. So this month was a bit more manageable, but we still had quite a few. And I think it was a really nice mix of like really beautiful uh, images, some really great quality puzzles, and also some exciting new releases as well. In the comments below, let me know what you thought of this haul. Were there any puzzles uh, that I picked up that you also picked up, or are there any that are on your wish list? And let me know about some of the other puzzles that you picked up for the month of May. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you show that like button some love. And for more videos like this and for even more puzzle content, then don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. By subscribing, not only will you be the first to know when a new video is released, but you're also helping this channel grow. You can find me over on Instagram at jigsaw underscore where you'll find even more puzzle content. Thanks so much and see you next time. Bye.